This is the newly launched Nano TX V2 Express LRS module from Beta FPV. It's got a load of improvements over the original version that I reviewed back in 2021, including higher RF output power options for 2.4 GHz and the 868915 MHz range. You get full ERS support, including backpack and improved stability. Let's have a closer look. Hello, and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Beta FPV have often been the leaders of the pack when it comes to offering new products that support new tech. And this was true of their original Nano TX ELRS module a few years ago, and of course, that's to be applauded. But there is a downside. In this case, Express LRS as an open source software project was in its infancy and not fully formed back then. So the first version of this, although leading edge and in many ways excellent, was a little bit flaky. Now, of course, ELRS has grown at an impressive rate over the last few years and Beta FPV have been working very closely with the ELRS team to produce this, the version two of the Nano module. I've got this 2.4 gigahertz version, but it's also available in 868 and 915 megahertz versions to suit your particular region. The 2.4 gigahertz version has switchable RF power between 25 milliwatts and one watt, and the 868 915 megahertz version is switchable between 10 milliwatts and a mighty two watts. And the price on this is $45 or around £35 in the UK, which as always with Beta FPV, is great value. As well as a couple of customizable buttons, built-in cooling fan, which is essential for the 1 and 2 watt versions, you get this T antenna, or what they call the T bled antenna. It's got an LED built into the top that changes colour depending on the status of signal transmission, reception, telemetry ratio and packet rate. This also uses a TCXO or a temperature controlled oscillator in here to improve the stability and performance in different ambient temperatures. And this is a very welcome feature lots of manufacturers are adopting in their transmitters and receivers so we get solid performance whether we're in a hot or cold climate. Now these high RF power output modules can drain your transmitter batteries pretty quickly but this has got a USB-C connector on the bottom and using this supplied XT30 to USB-C connector cable, you can power this off an external 2 to 4S LiPo. And this fully supports the latest Express LRS and it comes flashed with version 3.3. So you can expect to see this listed in the latest Express LRS configurator as well. Now, this fits into any standard nano style connector on something like the Zorro or maybe the Radio Master Pocket. And then you can use an adapter like this to mount it into your larger radio, like this port. So, put that in there, turn that on. Sorry for the super bright LEDs in here. And you can see there, hopefully, that LED is lit up blue, which means something that I can't remember. <laughs> that out of that. Now, this 2.4 gigahertz version uses an RP SMA connector on here. And I noticed on their website that the 868915 version uses an SMA adapter. I think Beta FPV have done a great job on this new version. It's now slap bang up to date with full Express LRS support, including backpack and up to an impressive two watts of RF output power. I'm a big fan of their stuff, particularly the Germany Super G module that I reviewed recently. I just wish they'd made this in black, like the Super G module, but it hardly matters. 
All the usual links are in the description if you want to find out more about this. And as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments on this. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And if you're on Facebook or Instagram, you can follow me there as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.